so let's get into little india this is a shop that sells african stuff so here today uh you can see they have okra they have some pepper and also they have a plantain sometimes they normally have like yam you can get your palm oil here as well you can also get your powdered milk so this is needle and also you could get milo as well you can also see beans you can see uh, indomie chicken flavor it comes with different flavors sometimes and bon vita in case you're not a milo fan so yeah you can get your african items here to cook your soup so you could also see your gari and there are two types here so we have like the big ones and the small ones as well and crayfish as well and then you could also get like things for soup so ogono um melon as well uh, for egusi soup and all that stuff you can get it here and where are my manners now let me bring the introduction video in right now the mic finally came that's why i wore like my t-shirt says this is my statement so this is my statement that i now have on my hello there this is ahobi one welcome 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 so welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by um, and if you are a returning subscriber, you know how it is. Thank you so much for coming back again to another video. So today we're just going to be talking about what to come to Poland with and as an African, the kind of food that you would get here in Poland. So yeah, so let's start the gist for today. Guys, I'm going to start with one funny story so um i remember if you remember in this video which i'm going to link here when i moved to poland i came with like 74 kg of luggage so in that 74 kg of luggage you can say um maybe half of the luggage was food <laughs> yes i packed everything like when i was coming i packed everything name it whatever i came with um i came with plantain chips guys i came with crayfish i came with beans i came with uh anything dried vegetables i was just like my mother packed me real good so when i came i remember i got to the dorms my roommate back then was ukrainian so she's like when she saw my luggage and she was like why do you have so much log so much bags and then i was like oh no this one is for food and then these are my clothes and she's like this entire bag is for food guys this was the big ghana must go sorry guys um, my Ghanaian watchers i'm sorry but yeah the bag was that big traveling kind of must go <laughs> bag and she's like did you think we didn't have food in poland when you were coming so that brings me to the end of the gist obviously i did not think that i would be able to uh see my african meals or things that i would use to cook like nigerian food here in poland so i brought everything but i'm here now to tell you that you don't necessarily need to pack 74 kg worth of food items from nigeria here unless you plan to come here and start selling um or you want to open your own african <laughs> you want to open your own african store if you are not coming to come and sell markets please 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 reduce your luggage so yeah i think i also got um i also got a comment or a message about what to bring and all that so that's what this video is just going to be about i'm just going to tell you the things that you have to bring and then where you can get your african items like foodstuffs and all that here in poland and how basically just how you can just get on as living as an african here in poland okay so let me start essentials things that you must bring because you might not find them here or it will be difficult for you to get i'm going to talk about your hair products as a black girl uh, with natural hair or even relaxed hair depending on what you do with your hair or as a guy as well i would advise you come with your afro comb yeah that comb that looks like four fingers yeah that big comb i forgot mine so ever since i've been here i have to comb with a brush and it's not really good for my hair uh you can order online as well but why order when you can buy from home and come so yeah so afro comb and all your hair uh, needs so like leave-in conditioner uh shampoo like for your natural hair if you're a natural hair person 
and um, relaxers if you're a relaxed if you have like relaxed hair so you need to bring like your relaxers because they're expensive here you need to bring your attachments so for your braids you need to bring them like you can buy in bulk guys you can bring the braids as many as possible because it's it's um it's not so expensive here but when you want to do like the comparison with how much you buy it back home it would be difficult for you to bring yourself to actually pay for attachments so yeah so bring your attachments you can bring your wigs as well so braided wigs normal wigs you can bring your wigs for the guys you bring your clipper i'm sure normally guys have clippers but guys while you're waiting to come to poland as a black person I would advise you to learn how to do your own hair, like learn how to style your hair, learn how to plait your hair if you can. And as a guy, please, if you can learn how to cut your hair, you could also do this. It's going to save you a lot of money, but if you're not able to learn that, then it's fine. You can come with your hair product and try to find a barber or a hairdresser that will do your hair. So what food should you bring? Just two things. Okay, not two. Okay, so for food, the things that you should bring at first it's not like you can't get these things here but like i said it's going to be more expensive so when you're coming you should try to get like your nor cubes your maggi whatever seasoning cubes royco whatever seasoning cubes you use back home so please try to get these like three four five packs if possible yeah and um your spices basically you can bring your spices and please do not forget to bring your red pepper or your black pepper whatever kind of pepper you like you can bring it it's here but the one you bring from home is much spicier than what you get here okay so you could also bring your crayfish your dried fish your dried vegetables as well but don't don't overdo vegetables dried vegetables because you know when vegetables become too dry they lose their yeah taste we have a spinach here and some other vegetables you can use in place of whatever vegetable you have back home so Maybe you can scrap out vegetables from your list. Now, if you're coming in winter, of course, uh, back home, the, the cold back home is not as much as here, but try as much as possible to get like a jacket that can serve your purpose, at least from the airport till you get here and you're able to get like a suitable winter jacket here that would fit the weather here. Another thing, please bring your Bibles and your books in English because uh, most of the bookshops here the books are in Polish so you might not be able to find a book that is in English so if you have a novel or something you want to read please bring it in <laughs> please bring it yeah in English so yeah bring it along as well yeah so uh, for soups you can bring like your egusi your dried egusi like the grinded one already the ogbono the grinded ogbono as well and whatever soup ingredients that you can come up with whatever tribe or whatever uh, country you're from yeah you can bring this as well palm oil is usually not allowed on the flights i think they allow you to take like a very small bottle like the size of maybe like a coke bottle or something something really small i think that's the allowed uh, quantity of oil or they don't even allow oil at all i don't really remember but yeah if you're going to bring palm oil it's going to be that small but we have palm oil here and then yeah you can also bring custard and egg, um, akamu so akamu has the powdered form so akamu is ogi pap i think that's the name ogi it's called ogi it's called pap it's called akamu custard so just bring like the the solid form and when you get here you figure it out so now let's talk about the things that you can get here the african things that you can get here so i'm going to first of all start by telling you that there are african stores here in poland and you can order online and they would deliver to your doorstep yeah they would deliver to you you can pay and bring it up but like i said money 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 it's more expensive than what you get back home but yeah you can order this as well so i'm going to put links on the screen and also in the description box of the different african stores that i am aware of here in poland so there's one in warsaw which is like the international african store there is one here in wrotswav uh, this is um tropical market yeah so i'd put their facebook link and their website and everything so you could also check them out and then there's little india of course little india and it sells african and indian related food items as well and they are really good as well so you can check out any of these stores or you can actually physically walk to their physical location or you order online it all depends on you so now 
that brings me to the things that I showed you in that video. So now in Poland, when it comes to milk, they have like liquid milk, like it's just liquid milk. So when I came at first, it took me some time to find out who, where whole milk was. And guys, I found whole milk. So there are different types of whole milk. Backed it. <laughs> yeah, because this is W in Polish. So backed it. Lacked it. Yeah, so there is this one. So this is like the powdered milk. It's sold in Beer Dronka and I think it's sold in every other store. So you can try to find them. So this is like the whole milk. So we have this here in Poland. So I'm going to, I went to shop. So I have a bag. I have a bag full of stuff here. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you. So yes, here we have like a goosey. So this is grinded a goosey. I think this went for like six wati. I bought it from the Indian shop. And I'm about to tell you, do not worry. You'll be wondering like, okay, so I have made soup. What am I supposed to eat? How am I supposed to get yam? How am I supposed to get like gari or something? Guys, those guys have everything. So here in Poland, you don't even need to go to any of these shops to get what I'm about to show you. This one is in any shop at all. It has nothing to do with African or anything. You can go to any shop. This is what we use here as our fufu here. So fufu, swallow, whatever. Uh, it can be translated to like semovita, like what we have back home. Semovita, semolina, that's what it is. So it's called kasha mana. So kasha mana, it's also sold in any store. I bought this from Biedronka. So it's like 1.4 zwoti or 1.2 zwoti. I'm not so sure yet. So this is what we use as it's it's exactly like semovita that you have back home. So all Africans that I know here we eat kasha mana with soup so we eat we use kasha mana to eat soups and you basically make it like you would make semovita so yes guys kasha mana is your fufu here in poland so guys uh they also have fish they have smoked fish like we have back home when we are making soups you would need to put some fish or some pomor and some stock fish and all that in your soup but here this is also this also can be found in any store although i got this from biedronka as well it's produced by biedronka and this is like mackerel so it's like a smoked fish if you can look it's actually smoked so you can use it as smoked fish to cook your soups so yeah we have palm oil they usually sell palm oil in like small quantities like this or small bottles usually like 12 zwoti or uh 10 zwoti it depends on where you're buying it from but it's always around that range so this is what it looks like so guys you have to be stingy with your palm oil because it comes in a very small package and it finishes so quickly so you don't have to eat your african food every time so that you don't finish all your stuff so yeah for spices in case you run out of your nor and your raiko or whatever seasoning that you brought brought back you brought in to poland from home i already told you before we have uh they have their own seasoning cubes i've tried different ones just to try to get like the exact taste of no or anything i've tried to get it but there's always something missing you get it's not no it's not no but mm, we have some cubes i don't have them here they're in the kitchen i'm sorry i didn't bring it here uh but this one is also really good it's a uh, vegeta so it's like it's like uh it's already like it's in powdered form so you can't really measure to know how many cubes this is but yeah you can use this to cook as in place of maggi or no when you're out of of your the ones you brought from home so guys i bought milo yes to drink tea with my powdered milk or to sip my gari yes they have milo as well and the, uh we have crayfish so crayfish comes in whole so you can blend it out to form the powdered form that you need and finally we have gari so gari also you can find your gari in your uh, african stores and in your on in little india so you can buy it online so yes guys i already showed you we have indomie here as well so apparently all this well I thought that Indomie was ours. Like, I thought Nigerians were the owners of Indomie. Like, can you hold Indomie? <laughs> I thought Nigerians were the owners of Indomie. Until I have this Indonesian friend, shout out to Zen. So one day we were talking, and then I found out that Indo is Indonesia. Me is noodles in Indonesia. So this means Indonesian noodles. So Indomie is. 
Indonesian. So, of course, nobody ever reads the back here to know. It's always written here, but nobody reads it. Everybody just opens Indomie to cook and chow as quickly as possible. So, basically, yeah, that's everything for today. I want to tell you one last thing. Yeah? This funny story. The funny story is this. Another funny story about my cooking experiences here in Poland. So, when I came, I was in the hostel, like I said earlier. Um... As I was buying stuff now for my house, I was just buying cheap stuff. Like, I didn't want to spend money. I was just calculating in my head, converting to Naira. So that's how I went ahead and bought normal aluminum pots. I didn't buy non-stick. I bought this, these cheap, cheap pots. Just know that they were cheap. I came home that day. I wanted to cook. And I wanted to fry. I don't even What was I cooking? Yeah, I think I, I wanted to fry tomatoes or something yeah so i put oil on fire yeah i wanted to do a sauce palm oil sauce with tomatoes so i put palm oil on fire um i just want you to know that it ended in it ended in confusion it didn't end in tears it ended in confusion so i went to the kitchen put the pot on fire i put oil i wanted it to bleach before i fry my um my onion and my <laughs> Before I fry my onion and my tomatoes, guys, the next thing, all the alarms went on. I didn't understand what was happening. I decided to put off the gas. Like, the slightest smell of smoke in the dorms would trigger the alarm. And before I said Jack Robinson, we had like four fire service trucks were outside. They had come up and were like, is there fire? I was so embarrassed. I was so shy. I just took my pot close. See, I didn't cook again. I didn't cook again. I did not cook that food again. <laughs> so guys, make sure you buy non-stick pots of good quality metal pots that would not cause a scene like that with the smoke and all that. Yeah. So basically, guys, that is all for today's video. Uh, so guys, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like. We're almost at 1K and you guys are like... I get so many messages from you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your messages and your questions. Some of them I've not been able to attend to them. I'm sorry, but I'll try my best to wrap things up real quick with the questions and everything. So guys, do not forget you can connect with me via email or on my social media page. I put everything in the description box. So please go there and just pick out whatever. And yeah, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. So let me come and go and cook my egusi soup because that's what I'm having for lunch, guys. I am having egusi and kashamana for lunch. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day and please stay safe. Bye.